Mr. Sant, thank you for taking time. How do you evaluate the level of readiness uh, to Eurovision 2017 in Kyiv? Well, we have had uh, good days with very good rehearsals. No technical errors. Uh, we have been on time. Uh, so, um, so I think we're ready now to, uh, to have three fantastic shows out of Kyiv uh, next week. Have you implemented everything you wanted to implement? Yes, more or less everything is in place. We have a fantastic press center. We have a, a very nice delegation area. It's spacious, it's light. Uh, it's enough room for all the delegations. Also to, to hang around when they're not in their uh, dressing rooms. Uh, we have a fantastic uh, venue in there uh, that can seat uh, approximately 10,000 people, which we think is more than sufficient. Uh, good transportation set up, um, all delegation in place um, here in Kiev now and uh, mostly very happy delegations. One of Western broadcasters citing the designer of the stage reported that at the beginning uh, production was planning to have a virtual reality effect on the stage but later the idea was dismissed because of lack of money. Have you heard about this idea and what do you think about it? Well, I have followed the, the, the discussion all the way because the original design that was approved was with uh, augmented reality. Uh, then uh, we had to look at the budget and we always do that for big events like, uh, like this. And it was decided to change uh, the setup uh, and, and present it as it is uh, right now. Probably this is not the first Eurovision uh where this kind of things happen. What is your personal attitude to this kind of situations? For example, when production wants to have the most exciting and fashionable show ever, but for some reason it's impossible. Do you feel sorry for it? Well, it's, uh, it's an expression uh, that is, uh, says, kill your darlings. And that uh, happens every year. Every year you have to sacrifice something to get something else up. And a budget is a living thing where you have to make priorities on one side and, and take, then take some other things down because you cannot only add and add. Having said that, uh, it would have been great to have augmented reality, but uh, we have a fantastic stage and it will look great uh, on camera uh, and on the television screens. Could we say that this year's show is the most fashionable and exciting than previous ones? Well, every year we, we, we try to add new features, we bring in the, the latest technology uh, and, and this year is no exception. Uh, and then the viewer will have to decide if this is the most fashionable show uh, ever. Uh, but I'm very, very happy with the, with the way it is presented, uh, the way the stage looks, the lighting uh, and, and how it sounds. So, so this will be great. Could you please tell about the processes which are coming about here at the International Exhibition Center just a few days before the first semi-final? It's actually a lot of work uh, to get a press center like this up and running. Uh, there's, there are a lot of people involved, uh, both to handle the press, but also to, to make sure that everything is in place on the logistics side, on the internet computer side, uh, offices, um, radio studios, everything has to work. So it's a massive operation. Uh, it's the same with the delegation bubble, as we call it, where the dressing rooms are. There's a lot of staff there to make sure that the artist can, can float around um, that area and make sure that everyone gets in time for their makeup, uh, for their sound rehearsals, for the stage rehearsals, for the viewing room, where they watch everything that has been going on on stage. Uh, so this is a massive operation. And then you have the technical operation uh, in the venue, uh, which of course is um, the biggest um, TV show um, uh, on earth, uh, so to say. So it's, it, it's a lot of people involved and it's a huge logistic and technical operation. How does your life, professional, I mean life, uh, look like these days? Well, uh, it's a lot of work. It has been a lot of work uh, all year around. And this is basically um, how I live my life. I work a lot with the host broadcaster in the host city the whole year around to help them prepare um, and make sure that the show we put on air uh, are fantastic and worthy Eurovision Sun Contest. Uh, so it's mainly uh, being here in the venue, uh, following the rehearsals. Uh, I'm in front of stage. I talk to all the delegations. I make sure that they get the, the right level of attention from the host broadcaster and the production team uh, so that they can uh, deliver and, and, and be confident that 
the act that they have brought to Kiev uh, will be um, sufficiently treated and come out as they wanted. What does your vision mean for you? Do you consider it as work or maybe it is something more? It's work. Uh, it's work. It, uh, I'm a TV professional. I have worked with TV production all my life. Uh, so this is this is work. This is work related. Uh, but I also um, I also see the value of Eurovision Song Contest as a cultural event, um, and I see this as uh, as a way of of creating um, a good atmosphere uh, between countries, between artists, between individuals, um, and between audiences all over Europe. Because of your professional duties, you at least publicly have to be more or less diplomatic person, don't you? But do you barrack anybody? Do you have any favorites at the contest? Um, I have my personal favorites, uh, of course, uh, and uh, and I listen to all the songs, uh, I see all the acts, and I make my own opinion. Uh, but uh, as a professional, of course, I'm neutral, uh, and I cannot do anything, and I don't do anything that could influence uh, the voting or the perception of, of the different songs. Uh, but personally, I have my favorites. So you mean you you cannot say publicly who are you uh, barracking? No, I will never do that. In the end of every program, I usually present to the interviewees some gifts. And for you personally, I'd like to present something symbolic, if you don't mind. So, the number 24 is about the number of hours per day during which you are thinking about your vision. And, attention, juggle. 42 is the number of countries participating this year and Dominus which is for fair play which according to your words Eurovision is. So this is for you Mr. Sand. Nice talking. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. 24, 42 and Domino. And I keep that in mind. Thank you.